Hello everyone, uh, welcome to solve this math Olympiad algebra problem. So here we have t square minus 1 is equals to t minus 1 whole square uh, and we solve this problem for all the values of c. So uh, here uh, the very first step we are going to do is uh, first uh, we rewrite this uh, given question statement as this is t square minus 1 and we write this one as uh, 1 square equals to here this is our t minus 1 whole square and now we use uh, the nice algebraic formula you know about this formula if we have a square minus b square it is equals to a minus b times of a plus b so according to this algebraic formula, we can uh, apply this formula in the left hand side of the above equation and it will be written as t minus 1 times of t plus 1 is equals to this is our t minus 1 whole square and we write it as uh, t minus 1 times of t minus 1. Here we use this nice formula. You know that if we have x square, we write this x square as x multiplied by x so uh, according to this rule uh, we break t minus 1 whole square as t minus 1 multiplied by t minus 1 and now here in the next step we move all of these terms uh, from right hand side to the left hand side and it will be written as t minus 1 times of t plus 1 and minus uh, we move these two values in the left hand side and it will becomes minus times of t minus 1 into t minus 1 and this whole equation equals to 0 and now you see here from both of these terms uh, we have t minus 1 uh, involved on both of these terms so that we will take common t minus 1 and we get the remaining values are when you take common t minus 1 from here we obtain t plus 1 and when we take common t minus 1 from here we obtain t minus 1 and this whole equation equals to 0 and now here in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as t minus 1 times of this is t plus 1 and we multiply this negative sign on both of these values and it will be written as a minus t plus 1 and this whole equation equals to 0 and now further in the next step uh, here we need more simplifications it will be written as t minus 1 times of here we need uh, to add or subtract the like terms and you see here this is negative t and positive t are gone and we get this is 1 plus 1 equals to 2 and this whole equation equals to 0. And now in the next step we need to divide both of the sides by 2 uh, in order to find the values of t so that uh, we divide both of the sides by 2 and it will be written as this 2 is cancelled out by this 2 and we get here t minus 1 equals to uh, 0 over 2 and we know that when we divide 0 by any number we again get 0 so 0 over 2 is equals to 0 and now here in the next step we move this minus 1 to the right hand side so when you move this minus 1 to the right hand side it will becomes t is equals to plus 1 so uh, this is the our uh, final value of t in this problem uh, and now here in the next step uh, we need to verify this value of t is this value of t satisfied our given question statement or not so for the verification uh, we need to copy down the given question statement here and it will become t square minus 1 is equals to t minus 1 whole square. And now for verification we need to put this value of t on both of the sides of this equation and we check the behavior of this equation uh, and we see that if for the values of t both of the sides are equal or not. So when you put this value here it will becomes uh, 1 square minus 1 is equals to this is 1 minus 1 whole square and now you see here 1 square equals to 1 minus this is 1 equals to 1 minus 1 becomes 0 square and here we have this is 1 minus 1 equals to 0 and this 0 square is also equals to 0. So this shows that the value of t equals to 1 is satisfied over this given question statement. 
and uh, this is the our final answer of this question and i hope so you like this method but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos